Hi, Brad from WPSites.net. This is a beginner's guide to using custom fields in WordPress. Now, if you landed on my post, which is titled Beginner's Guide to Adding Custom Fields in WordPress, you'll see there's an introduction which tells you a little bit about custom fields and how they work. And there's also some code there as well. So you could use this code if you're using Genesis. If you're not using Genesis, it won't work. So we'll take a look at how to write some code to use custom fields in any WordPress theme. But firstly, let's just go to a demo site. So if you've got a test site set up locally or on a live server, fire that up and uh, we'll just have a look at what custom fields are. So we've landed on the home page of a demo site. Let's go to a single post and if we edit, click on edit post once we're logged in, if we scroll down below the WordPress edited here, we'll find there is a field for custom fields and there's two parts to it. There's the name and the value. The name is actually also referred to as the key. So what we need to do is if we want to create a new custom field, we click enter, we give it a name. So we'll use demo underscore field and we'll add some content. We'll just copy this little bit of content here and we'll use that for demonstration purposes. So we click add custom field Click update, view post, and what happens? Nothing. Because that's only stored that data in the database. It hasn't printed it on the front end. So to do that, we need to have a look at some code. So uh, let's just go back to the post. Now, as I said before, there's some code here which works with Genesis only. We want some code that works with any theme. So uh, let's, let's open up a new screen and let's search, uh, search for custom fields. And we'll have a look at the page on the WordPress codex and see whether that can help us with some code. Now here we are here, we're on the WordPress codex and there's quite a lot of information about custom fields here. There's lots of different functions. If you're new to custom fields and you're not a full-time programmer, you might find it a bit confusing. It gives you a basic explanation of custom fields, which is good. Uh, there's a function here, the meta. Um, but let's, let's, let's just scroll down to this section here advanced techniques for custom fields, getting custom fields. Now this is what we want. This is the function which will work with any theme and it's called get post meta. And uh, there it is there in its most basic form, but it also includes three parameters and, uh, and here's a description of the three parameters. So we can use this in a custom function. So let's just take this And we'll copy this into the child themes functions file. So if you've got a demo set, site set up with a with a uh, with a theme, make sure you're using a child theme, and uh, that way any changes you make won't be overwritten by parent theme updates. So let's just paste that into the child themes themes functions file. Now we need to configure these three parameters here because they've just included three variables, and they won't work. So let's have a look at the description for each. The first one's post ID. Post ID is the ID of the post you want the meta values for. It says use post ID. So we'll use this to get the post ID. So we'll go back to the code. We'll replace that post ID variable with what the codex tells us to use. We'll just save those changes. And we'll go to the second parameter, which is key. Key is a string containing the name of the meta value you want. Now, um, we, the, the name we used was uh, demo field. 
So where's our demo site? We'll just go back to our demo site and uh, edit the post. And demo field is the name or the key as it's referred to in this uh, function. So we'll use demo, demo field, replace that with demo field. Now make sure you wrap these in uh, like that. Now single is the last parameter. So we need to have a look at single and it can either be true or false. If set to true, then the function will return a single result. If false or not set, then the function returns array of custom fields. Well, we only want to return one single result for this particular uh, custom field. So we'll change that variable to true. True. Okay, so there's get post meta. Now we've configured that. We need to we need to hook it in. So we'll just save that for a minute, and that won't work. But we've just got to work out where we want to display this content, which is the value for this custom field key. So uh, let's just update that, and that's giving us an error. So. What we want to do is we want to display it before the post title and that's the reason you use a custom field because anything you put in here in the editor that will display within the loop. We want to just display it before the, the title. So to do that we'll use a hook called loop start and add action. And this is the location we're going to add this content. We need a function name. Function name is, uh, we'll just call it demo function. Demo function is probably not the best. Let's say demo, demo CF for custom field. Okay, function. Demo CF and so there we have it. Let's we'll hook this uh, demo field into the loop start position. So let's just go back to the codex for a minute, and um, this is what it tells us to use. Okay, so it doesn't give us all the code. So I don't think this is going to work, but let's just try it. Let's just save the changes. Did we save those changes? Let's just save those changes and see what happens. Now we're getting a lot of errors, undivide, un undefined variable post. Okay, so what it didn't tell us to use is echo. We need to echo this. And it also didn't tell us to use global post. So we need to use that as well to get the data for that particular post. So we'll save those changes. Let's refresh. And there we go. It displays the content before the title. This is actually what's called the loop start uh, position. So that works. Now let's just go back to the home page. It also displays it on the home page. We don't really want that. We only want to display it on the single post. So let's add a conditional tag. If is single open bracket so when we open bracket we have to close it so that's our function now if is single back to the home page <coughs> and that's gone now so it only displays on the single post so that gives you an idea of how to use custom fields in WordPress and you can use that same function on any post. So if we go to a new post now, 
We'll call this second uh, second demo. Um, let's just save that for the minute. We go down here, and what's the name of our custom field? Demo field. Second demo uh, test. Let's just add that. Publish. Visit post. And there we go, second demo. So that only displays on that particular post. If we go back to the first one, we've got different content. So that's the value in custom fields, and that's why they're so good, so good to use, because you can display different content on every single single post, and we've only used one tiny bit of code snippet. We haven't added needed to add new widget areas for every single post. This is all, all we need to set up the custom field and uh, the loop start position um, dictates where the content displays. We can also change it, use any conditional tag to determine where it's going to display. Um, you can display it on archives, category archives, any type of archive. You can use any, any type of conditional tag. So that's uh, that's how to use custom fields in WordPress. And you can write that code differently as well. You could use a variable rather than use post ID. You could use get the ID. So let's just try that quickly. Get the ID. And you could use that in a variable. No, that doesn't work. So we'll have to put that into a variable. So let's just do that quickly. Let's remove global post. And let's create a variable. Field equals get post meta. Let's remove that. Let's add a... Um, so a div class as well, if you want to know how to add a div class to this, div equals new class, dot uh, field, let's just type in field. So we can remove global posts and we can wrap our, um, our custom field in a div class and use a variable. Get the ID and it should be. Demo field true, this should work. Save the changes. There we have it, exactly the same result. So we can use that div class now to style that so we can increase the size of the font and, 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 and add some padding or whatever you like. So uh, so that's it from wpsites.net. Um, you'll find more information on my post titled Beginner's Guide to Adding Custom Fields in WordPress. See you next time on wpsites.net. Cheers.